welcome dear friends today we are going to learn about control drug delivery system the objective of this particular video is that on completion of this the student shall learn different terminologies or the definitions which are used or which are related to novel drug delivery system also the student can tell what are the advantages and disadvantages of control drug delivery system now let us first see what is the need to develop novel drug delivery system as you all know for, for many decades treatment of an acute disease or a chronic illness has been mostly accomplished by delivery of drugs to the patients using various pharmaceutical dosage forms which mostly includes dosage forms like tablets tablets can be of various shapes and size because, and they are the unit dosage forms also capsules are uh, conventional dosage forms capsules are also of different sizes and we can say capsules too are unit dosage forms next comes the pills conventional dosage forms also includes suppositories suppositories are dosage forms to be inserted into your body cavities like vagina ears nose etc next formulation is ointments next formulation is creams <clears throat> then comes liquids liquids are the most preferred type of dosage form in conventional dosing systems then there are aerosols aerosols are for inspiration purpose they are basically used for the treatment of respiratory systems and injectables these all are used as drug carriers so even today these dosage forms or this conventional drug delivery systems they are the primary pharmaceutical products and most commonly seen in the prescription and over the counter drug marketplace so this type of drug delivery system is known to provide a prompt release of drug therefore to achieve as well as to maintain the drug concentration within the therapeutic therapeutically effective range needed for the treatment it is often necessary to take this type of drug delivery system several times a day so we can say the drug has to be taken frequently this results in a significant fluctuation in the drug levels within the plasma if you want to develop ideal drug delivery system two prerequisites would come to mind the first is it should deliver drug at a constant rate and that rate at what rate which is dictated by the needs of the body over the period of treatment this may necessitate delivery at a constant rate for drugs that have a clear relationship between steady state plasma levels and the resultant therapeutic response secondly it should channel the active entity or the active moiety solely to the site of action recently several technical advancements have been made and they aim at the two requisites so that we can increase the efficacy of the drug and we can reduce the side effects so they have resulted in the development of new techniques for drug delivery these techniques are capable of controlling the rate of drug delivery they can also sustain the duration of the therapeutic activity and they can target the delivery of a drug to a specific tissue now this is a graph of blood plasma concentration whenever you give a drug at that time inside the plasma you can see this is minimum therapeutic concentration and this is maximum therapeutic concentration the range in between these two concentration therapeutic concentration is called as therapeutic window 
when your drug concentration in the plasma in between is in between this therapeutic window at that time the drug is going to show its effect so we can say when the concentration is in therapeutic window the drug is effective okay when the level goes above this maximum therapeutic concentration at that time the drug is going to produce side effects or it it might be lethal okay if the drug concentration produced in in the plasma is below this minimum therapeutic concentration at that time the drug is going to show no effect so it is mandatory whenever you give a drug at that time its level has to be in between this therapeutic window now let us see what happens when we give a bolus when we give a unit dosage form or we can say when we give a conventional dosage form at that time when you take the drug the concentration in the body it is going to increase but as the drug it undergoes metabolism and excretion automatically the level of the drug inside the plasma it goes on decreasing and decreasing and then it falls below the minimum therapeutic concentration after this period of time you have to take another dose so again the concentration will rise so you can see there is fluctuation in the plasma drug concentration and we don't want this okay so what is done is either we can go for production of sustained release um, tablets or dosage form or we can go for controlled release drug system now this is the graph for controlled release system when you give a single dose of the drug at that time the plasma level is maintained or we can say it releases the drug with zero order kinetics and the plasma level is maintained well in between this therapeutic window so now you can see the drug is going to give the action for this much long period of time so automatically by using the control drug delivery system you are going to reduce the frequency of dosing if you reduce the frequency of dosing you will get accurate effect of the drug also you can minimize the side effects and you can also avoid dose dumping now this graph is for sustained release dosage form you can see the dose release is sustained for a particular period of time so these are the benefits of formulating controlled um, uh, drug delivery systems i hope what is the importance of cdds that is uh, clarified now the conventional dosage forms including prolonged release dosage forms they are unable to control either the rate or site of action while rate controlled release drug delivery systems are capable of delivering a drug at same some predetermined rate either systemically or locally for a specific period of time so they do so with virtually no control over the fate of the drug once it enters the body targeted drug delivery systems on the other hand are capable of achieving site specific delivery are usually unable to control the release kinetics of the drug in a predictable manner to date their usefulness is limited to systemic administration only now what are the different terminologies used in novel drug delivery system first is controlled release controlled release denotes systems which can provide some control whether this be a temporal or spatial nature or both of drug release in the body in other words the system attempts to control drug concentration in the target tissue or cells now let us see what is sustained release the prolonged release or sustained release systems which only prolong therapeutic blood or tissue levels of the drug for an extended period of time what is targeted release drug targeting on the other hand can be considered 
as a form of controlled release in that it exercises spatial control of drug release within the body so we can say in targeted release the drug it is released at the point of its action or we can say it targets the receptors so in general controlled delivery attempts to sustain drug action at a predetermined rate by maintaining a relatively constant effective drug level in the body with concomitant minimization of undesirable side effects associated with a sort to kinetic pattern secondly it localizes drug action by spatial placement of a controlled release system usually called as rate controlled adjacent to or in a diseased tissue or organ next it targets the drug action by using carriers or chemical derivatization to deliver drugs to a particular target cell so these are the advantages of control drug release in most cases the release system is going to create constant constant concentration of the drug within the body over an extended period of time the assumption is that there is a steady state drug level in plasma and in target tissues or cells they are correlated ideally it is desirable to place the drug at the target be it a tissue a population of cells or receptors leaving the rest of the body drug free but in actual this is not possible in order to maintain a constant drug level in either plasma or target tissue release rate from the controlled release system should be equal to the elimination rate from the plasma or target tissue so cddds that is controlled drug delivery system is very well known as smart drug delivery system it is also known as targeted drug delivery system intelligent drug delivery system novel drug delivery system and therapeutic or rate controlled release system now we will see what exactly is rate controlled release system it is of three types the first one is passive pre programmed now passive pre programmed release controlled system includes most rate controlled system here the release rate is predetermined and it is irrespective of external biological environment like when you go to fill up fill fuel in your car at that time you can set the meter and that much only amount of drug is that much only amount of fuel is filled in the car similarly here the rate of release is predetermined and that much only amount of drug is released from that system next is the active pre programmed the it is the most common example is metered insulin pumps whose release is controlled by external source and the third category is active self program it is it modulates the release rate of a drug in response to information registered by a sensor on changing biological environment such as blood sugar level in the diabetics so what are the advantages it decreases the dosing frequency it reduces the rate of rise of drug concentration in blood it is it is going to show less fluctuation in the plasma drug level it enhances bioavailability of the drug it it is used to achieve a targeted drug release it reduces the side effects it it shows improved patient compliance because frequency of dosing is reduced it improves absorption utilization and it also enhances bioavailability it shows decreased local and systemic side effects and reduced git irritation it shows reduced fluctuation and it also reduces the healthcare cost also bioavailability of certain drugs can be increased what are the disadvantages there might occur dose dumping there the uh, the potential of accurate dose adjustment might get reduced 
uh, stability is a big problem. There is need of additional patient education about this type of systems. The patient's needs to be substantial additional information as to, pro uh, as to how to use the proper uh, medicine. Then it might show poor IV, IVC. The, uh, the cost of a single unit is increased as compared to the cost of the conventional units and stability is a very big problem. Thank you. This was all about CDDS. Thank you for watching.